Kronos processing uh, using AWS service. So I think uh, while we are build application, there are certain uh, type uh, background process, and usually, uh, like normally, some background process taking much long uh, uh, take a, a lot of time to, to to finish. And when you build a web app, we want uh, our web app to be respond quickly to user, so user don't have to wait. And in a certain language, we can do a, like launch a new thread or like in GoLang we have new uh, routine for. Um, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um, like. Um, Usually we have uh, some background process taking so long and uh, we want to try to separate the background process uh, and just to make sure that user will get respond quickly. Okay, before uh, we go to detail, I want to show you myself. Uh, this is a link about me and I like football very much. I play soccer every week and I have family with a daughter. Uh, it's got disconnected. Are you running? Is that Keynote or is it a PDF or something? No, it's on Google Drive. Okay. So the problem is, like for example, we have a, a web app server and we have background process. Uh, some background process like run like, like 30 seconds and we don't want our user to wait like 30 seconds and also like for example if you have like thousand or million users access uh, the website at the same time this will add up to a very huge amount of time and the other way is like we try to as, uh, asynchronous the background process so it run uh, like transparently to the user and our app server will return to the user uh, directly so, for example, in this case, uh, we reduce from around like 30 seconds to just like, around like one second only. And today, I mean, demo uh, this one using uh, an application written in GoLang, very like small app just for demo only. And I'm using uh, some AWS service, like S3 Elastic Transcoder, SNS, and Lambda. Uh, the reason I use Elastic Transcoder because like uh, I want to demo. The a background process which take, usually taking a lot of time, which is like video converting. So usually, for example, imagine if user upload a video file, we want to uh, convert video file or do some uh, processing with the video, like taking a thumbnail, uh, creating a multiple format for the video. Then that process usually take a lot of time, and we don't want to wait for the process to be finished in order to return the user. So I mean. Uh, upload the file to S3 using transcoder to convert the format, and when it's for when the status of the job is uh, updated, it will send notification to SNS, uh, stand for Simple Notification Service from AWS, and then uh, SNS will trigger Lambda function, and it's here in the Lambda function uh, we can do whatever we want. Uh, the reason why we have to take uh, this uh, kind of time is like, for example, for SNS, it can call uh, a RESTful API, for example. But the thing is like the API must be public in order SNS to call. So a lot of time uh, our app is rely, uh, reside inside our internal network. So SNS cannot call the API directly. So that's why I have to call Lambda first to make sure Lambda and SNS in the same network, and then Lambda can call our API. Yeah. So here is sample code here. Uh, I just put here for sample only. Uh, I will post this code into GitHub, and we will, uh, you can take a look later. Okay, now I will demo this, uh, this app. So this is a code of the, the application. It's very quick, very, uh, anybody can see? It's more. I can, I, you, you're using gym. Are you? Yeah, now you can see. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So basically, this is just like uh, connecting the 
this post uh, method this post method is like handling the file upload and when we upload the file I create a record uh, save it to database and uh, starting upload to the AWS S3 and then create a job for transcoder yeah, for its process and let's run this this one this one okay anybody can see my comment it's I, I don't know how to increase the size of this one okay so uh, the command is very simple go run main dot go this run this simple file because uh, the application is written in a very simple file okay wait for one or two seconds of the uh, server start okay so it started and here I use postman to test the script I already test test it here but now I'm trying okay uh, here is the request I try to upload the sample you itunes.mov uh, this is a sample MOV file uh, from Apple so I download uh, and I I will try to upload this file now and transcoder will try to convert this MOV file into the mp4 format okay so now I send this request it's take you see it's take like one or two seconds to finish and here let's go to ns3 okay okay you see this file this one this one is just newly newly created uh if you take a look up the timestamp so quick yeah but you see the file is updated but at 21 here the second 21 but this one is finished at 10, uh, 29 so it takes 8 seconds to finish but in our web app here uh, okay this one is a 20 yeah so that means it's almost instantly uh, with the web uh, with the response yeah ah uh, yeah here it takes two seconds to finish but this uh, object takes eight seconds to convert oh, it's, it's two seconds for the upload I guess yeah two seconds for the file to be uploaded and to be uh, submit to S3 and return to user so after that the converting the background process will happen on the AWS only yeah what, what about posters and things like that you don't bother uh, what do you mean by post? Like little like uh, preview images? Or yeah, they can generate a thumbnail for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So basically for, for, okay. So the second thing I want to, to show you is like, once this file is uploaded, uh, when it up updating the status, it will send notification to SNS, and, and SNS will call my uh, Lambda function. Uh, to show you, I will show you uh, about my uh, transcode the configuration first. Okay, electric transcoder. So this is PyLife. So this is PyLife for transcoding, and I use this preset. Um, I think I use this one just to make sure that the file size is small. Because I have to pay for that. Yeah, this one. Yeah. So this is uh, the the format MP4 format. We we can choose multiple format if you want uh, to, to convert at the same time. Yeah. Five, five minutes, Michael. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And this is the job. Just run now. And you can see here, it takes uh, six seconds to convert this file. And you can hear, as you can see here, uh, it will send notification to SNS topic. 
is this one and is that, is that once it's written to S3 right yes okay. yeah and this is topic in SNS and here is lambda and lambda will get triggered by that same topic here and when it is triggered it runs this code and this code is written by Node.js you can write whatever you want here I just uh, console lock it for uh, just a proof and from here from locking you can see here This is just example. When the status is completed, I I I, I run a console log in the Node.js the, the lambda function just now, and here is the the data is logged. Yeah, I run the console log here, and it logs the data to console and the cloud watch screen uh, grab it and put it here. Yeah. Yeah, that's all for me now. Okay, thanks, Michael. Yeah. Do you uh, use this technique on Property Guru? Yeah. So Property Guru hand handles videos. I think it does. Uh, no, it doesn't. It haven't yet. Actually, I implemented this one in Property Guru to convert because currently the uh, Property Guru can handle uh, some a certain format. And uh, we want to uh, support uh, almost the format, uh, and we can uh, play natively in HTML5. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds sensible. Yeah. And this is a, a GitHub repo for the code. If you want, to, you can take a look. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. Hey, um, <laughs> anyone have questions for Michael? Anyone also doing transcoding out of interest? I, I personally use FFmpeg. But I'm curious to know what you guys use. <laughs> yeah. Previously, I used FMMPEG as well. And now it's called AVConf. Uh, oh, yeah, AV, yeah. AVConf is the old one. I think it's merged back into FMMPEG. Oh, OK. Like it's split and then it came back. Oh, OK. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Uh, it's like two years ago, so maybe it's merged. Uh, and uh, I can feel like uh, FMMPEG, it, it takes me a lot of time to set it up and to do a lot of um, pro, a lot of tasks to con connect everything together. But this transcoder is very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I see the benefit of using those presets yeah. um, for sure. Yeah. Anyone doing the same sort of stuff have, will have questions for Michael? Sorry, does this scale well? Can you scale up? Uh, yes, this quite scale quite well because currently we have uh, quite a number of video upload per day and we don't have any problem with this one. And usually the converting I, ha I haven't seen any converting time which take longer than one minute. The longest, yeah. Well, even if you have a huge file. Yeah, I, I try, I try, like for example, currently we limit only 10 meg. I try 50 meg or even 100 meg, it still take quite fast. Yeah. I didn't look that closely at your code. I'm a Golang uh, programmer myself. Did you, uh, did you, when, you, when someone uploads, do they upload to S3 and then you take the S3 reference or do you upload into some... I upload to S3, so transcoder will get input from S3 and output back to S3. Yeah, yeah. because... But does your Golang actually accept the, the, the binary or do you, or you, do you post directly to S3 using the... Uh, okay, so when, it, when, you, when you upload, uh, the file will be stored in the memory, uh, the namespace, and then a temporary file and you open that to convert it the file handler with the IO reader and then, you and then the AWS SDK will uh, you take the IO reader to pass okay, it. I was going to say you can post directly to S3 that saves a lot of hassle. I, I, think. I think so but I haven't tried. Okay. Yeah. Well we can trade notes. Yeah. And uh, um, of course I had another question but I forgot it. Uh, well, another question. Um, how many minutes are you transferring? It's take like six per month. Per month. Uh, we haven't uh, do a uh, analytic on that. Okay. Yes. Curious about the price. I have no idea about the price. How is the price by by minute? Uh, I, by the minute of the video is converted. I think so. Of the converted video. Yes. Wait a minute. 
the upload minute is going to be the same as the convert yeah. minutes, right? Uh, no, it's, it may be different. It may be different. I'm, I'm not sure what, it, it may be the time is processing or maybe the time, the, lo the length of the video. Oh. Yeah. Well, do, do you remember what your bill is? No, I guess it's time. I have no information, no permission to accept wow, that. Wow, man, that's a great company. <laughs> 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 no, I, 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 no, honestly, I, 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 uh, I genuinely think it, as a developer, it's important to know how much things cost. I mean, yeah. I get, asked, I, get, I get asked that question all the time. So. Luckily, I'm still, sure I'm still in my free tire now. Uh, <laughs> well, I look forward to seeing videos on Property Guru. Yeah. Um, also, look forward to four pants. Four pants. That's what I want to see. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks again. Yeah. Thank you. Um,